Is it recording? Yes. Hey everybody, so I just got to, um, or I'm actually about to um, go into my microneedle appointment that I made. Um, I actually just made it yesterday. I had it for I think like Wednesday or Thursday, but I saw an opening today and I'm off work today, so I moved it or else I wouldn't have been able to go. Um, I'm recording on my cell phone. Again, I have 4K on my cell phone, so I think it just shows my skin a lot better. I'm in the car. Um, I have to go in in like maybe 10 minutes or so, but I just wanted to show you guys my skin right now um, up close with my cell phone and then I'm going to go into my appointment. We're doing something different today. We are still going to microneedle, um, but we're going to add something a little bit different. Sorry, it's a little bit awkward because I don't have tint in my car and like everyone can see me and there's a lot of people in the parking, but um, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, it's called, I think, like a glow treatment or something like that. I'll talk about it once I get home and I'm filming. And I'll tell you guys, like, the details of it, what it consists of, and it, what it consists of, and everything so that you guys know what it is. Um, so, yeah, let me just kind of get a little bit close to my skin. This is my left side. This is my right side. This camera, like, literally just shows everything. And I think I'm just going to stick to using this camera um, for, like, videos like this. Um, but anyways, I'm going to walk in in, like, five minutes, so I'll see you guys after. Hey, everybody. I just got back from microneedling. Um, I know this camera is, like, super up close and personal, but I figured I would go ahead and just leave the camera really close up to my face because we want to see what's going on. Um, so I went to go get my microneedling procedure done today. We actually did something different. It's called a, um, let me look it up actually because I want you guys to know exactly what I did. Um, so today we did a treatment and it wasn't just microneedling. So I have it up on my phone here. It is a, um, I think it's like called the Signature Glow Treatment. I'll leave the link down below. Um, so basically what it was is it consists of exfoliation, microdermabrasion, and then microneedling. And her description, it says it's a collagen, collagen induction therapy to dramatically resurface your skin, improve cell turnover, and why can't I talk? Improve cell turnover and stimulate collagen production. Perfect for treating acne, acne scarring, fine lines, wrinkles, and thinning skin. For best results, a treatment can be repeated once every two to four weeks. It takes about 30 minutes and it costs $65. So what she did first was um, did, she cleansed my skin. She left on what felt like a mask or something. It was like a gel type of formula. And then immediately after that, she did the microdermabrasion. The microdermabrasion pretty much is a form of exfoliation. It gets all the gunk out of your skin. Um, and then she did the microneedling. She actually did my entire face, which typically, as you know, I always just do my cheek area. Um, but she did my forehead, my nose, she did my chin area, so I microneedled everything. Um, what else? Uh, she did put on, I think, hyaluronic acid right after that. Again, same rules apply. No sun, no working out, sweating, um, none of that. No using anything that's harsh, no exfoliators, nothing harsh at all. So. The only thing I'm going to be using is my Kiehl's Hydro Plump, which is this bad boy right here. I don't know if you can see it. It might be too bright. Um, so I'm going to be using this. It's very, like, I don't know, it has 15% glycerin. Um, it doesn't have anything too crazy in there. It's just really good for moisturizing because I do feel pretty dry. My skin feels really tight. So we'll see how it looks tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to get any, like, um, peeling or stuff like that. So we'll check it out tomorrow. Uh... The microdermabrasion part doesn't hurt at all. The microneedling hurts the most on the cheek area. I thought it was going to hurt on my forehead and like the other areas, but it d didn't hurt at all. Um, it was just the cheeks that felt uncomfortable, but again, it's bearable and you can always numb if you need to. What else do I have to say? Um, my skin does feel a little bit puffy and swollen. So uh, that's the only thing, but it's nothing crazy. I do feel like the redness is going down compared to how I looked when I first walked out of there. Um, I meant to record when I walked out, but I just completely forgot. I was like in a rush to get home. 
So we'll give it a couple days and I will update you guys um, tomorrow in specific. I will go ahead and turn the camera on and update you guys. Let me just get up close, a little bit closer than this just so you can kind of see. Let me turn down this brightness a little bit so it's not like too overpowering. So she did focus a lot in this inner corner because that little area is kind of stubborn. And then that side. I could turn this down a little more. There we go. My forehead and like my nose and stuff are not red. My chin, it's just the cheeks. So I will update you guys tomorrow morning and we'll take a look at my skin then. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of my microneedling. It is actually really early right now, it's like seven in the morning. Um, it is November 6th. I did go get my microneedling done on November 5th just to give you guys time frames. Um, my skin is actually still really red, um, particularly in this area, this area, and this area. Now, I also noticed that I do have breakouts that seem to want to emerge in specific right here. I have like a bump here and then I have a bunch of little bumps down here. Now, I do have to tell you guys something. So I know I said last night that I was only going to be using this Hydro Plump stuff. Now, um, I have it right here, like the actual bottle itself. Do not use this, you guys. I put this on last night and I didn't think that it was going to irritate my skin or do anything, but it did. My, my skin actually got really red. So I cleansed my skin. Oh, dang it. Did I not bring it? Um... I cleansed my skin with, I think it's called like the image and it's like a pH balancing cleanser. I used that and was completely fine. I'll link that down below because I have it in my shower and I don't want to go get it, but I'll link it down below so you guys know which one I used. I was fine using that and I also used that this morning, um, but I already woke up in the morning with like all this before I even cleanse my skin. So I think it might have been this that did that. Um, I put this on and it kind of felt like it was stinging a little bit. And then um, I got this redness going on. I washed my skin off right away just with water. And then the redness went away a little bit. I still had some so I was like dang I, I really wanted to put something on to help with the redness that I did have. And then also my skin felt extremely dry. So I have this like aloe vera mask that I got at, I think it's called Nature Republic. So I put this on because I'm like, it's aloe vera. I don't think it'll really do anything. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if this is because of the breakouts or it's because of this or it's because of this. Um, when I took this off, I did notice I still had some redness, but not as much as what this gave me. So neither one of these, I think is good to put on. Um, usually I have no problem putting on any skincare after I microneedle. However, since this was a little bit more harsh, um, and obviously probably went a little bit deeper into my layers, I think my skin was just not ready for anything. Um, to be honest, I probably should have just not put anything on last night and maybe just stuck to putting stuff today. Um, this morning I, um, put on what did I put on I put on advanced night repair um, by Estee Lauder it's a serum that usually um, is what I've used in the past every time I've microneedled however I have very little of it so I don't really use it every day anymore but I decided to just put that on because I know that stuff works um, and I didn't feel any tingling or anything I didn't put a lot either I just really wanted to put something in because I feel very dry and my skin just looks really bumpy um, and it feels kind of swollen too um but everything else looks really nice like my forehead area looks really good um this area in particular looks pretty good it's not that red it's just these areas here where like breakouts emerge so that's why i'm not sure if that's what's like causing more of the redness um so let me get up close so see how like i have a breakout like right here and that's where it looks like very bumpy and then right here too, there's breakouts here and it looks like really texturized. And then I have redness right here too. She did kind of do this area. I have a little bit on my nose. I also have a breakout there though. And then I don't really have that much redness here. Maybe just like right here. But that doesn't feel like it's a pimple. My hands are clean, I, I promise. <laughs> um, and then my forehead. 
forehead looks pretty good just a breakout or two there so um i still i think i'm just gonna stick to that just the cleanser and then the advanced night repair serum and not do anything else i don't want to irritate my skin i don't even know if i should wear makeup today i kind of feel like i shouldn't um it does feel really dry so i have a feeling the makeup's not gonna look good um but we shall see i will update you guys um tomorrow and see how the redness is doing then good morning everybody it is wednesday november 7th we are officially on day three of my microneedle I did get microneedled on Monday, just a quick reminder. So my skin is definitely not as red as it was, I would say, the first day. And then yesterday, um, my breakouts that I told you that were kind of, I felt, wanted to emerge, they did. This one definitely emerged, and then there's one right there. Um, what else? My skin is still feeling pretty dry. Um, what else? I did kind of switch up what I was using. I know I said I was using the Skin Image Cleanser, which I will link that down below because that cleanser is amazing, especially if you have acne. But um, I wanted to switch it up um, because I remembered that I had a Kiehl's Calendula Cleanser, and that's really good if you have sensitive skin. Um, so I wanted to use that instead because I feel like my skin is feeling really sensitive right now. Um, I don't have the cleanser on me, but basically if you guys are interested in looking for that, it's going to be a product that looks similar to this. This is just like the Christmas edition. This is the toner version of that cleanser, but it has the calendula flower extract in there. I don't know if you can see those little floating things in here. Um, and it's basically the same thing. It has the white flower and it's just really good for normal to oily skin, um, but it's really good especially if you are sensitive. Um, it doesn't have any harsh amount of alcohol in, ear, in here, which is like really awesome. And then the cleanser is the same way. So um, this, but the cleanser version. And then I just have been using my little advanced night repair. Now I am running out. I don't know if you can tell like in the back, but I literally have like this much. So this is almost out, but that has never done me wrong when I've gotten my microneedling done. So that's why I figured I should just stick to using that. Again, the first day was a little bit intense. I kind of wish I wouldn't have put anything um, that day. And then I also did use moisturizer today for the first time. Um, I use Estee Lauder's Revitalizing Supreme. I'll go ahead and try to add a photo somewhere on the screen. Or I will link it down below so you guys know exactly what I use. Um, and so far so good. Nothing has felt um, like itchy or burning or irritating me. So I think my skin is ready for... Um, you know introduction of skincare but again do not exfoliate like stay away from that completely um what else i guess that's pretty much it um it's a little bit hard to tell what's smoothed out um because i still feel pretty dry in these like areas here so i'm not really sure i feel a lot of like texture right now um so it's a little bit hard to see what's kind of smoothed out but again let me quickly zoom in my camera is on the verge of dying um so let me just zoom in really quick before it does that so here's the left side so it does look like more smoothed out but again I have like texture right here it looks a little bit bumpy um, and again that's just, I think this is just like the dryness but also too when I put the skincare I think it kind of irritated it and this is my right side my right side's looking pretty good actually it doesn't seem like this side got irritated at all um, I hate these right here like I need to get rid of those and then my chin area um, this breakout is the one that emerged and then there's my forehead so i will go ahead and update you guys i don't think i'll update you guys tomorrow i think i'll probably update you guys like on the fifth or sixth day and kind of end it there um once this like texture and stuff gets like goes away um then i'll go ahead and update you guys and then we'll take a look at my results then um and then i will go back again in probably four weeks i don't know if i want to do this treatment again to be honest um I'm a little bit skeptical, but again, I'll see how my results look. If I feel like it made a difference, then I'll probably do this again. But I feel like if it's not making a major difference, I will just stick to microneedling. Um, and yeah, so we'll determine that in a couple days. So I will catch up with you soon. Hello, everybody. We have officially made it to one week since my microneedling glow treatment. It is Tuesday, November 13th. 
as you know I went last Monday to go get the treatment done um, so yesterday was exactly one full entire week and I wanted to show you guys my skin before I apply my makeup for the day so that you guys can kind of see my results from that microneedling glow treatment um, I kind of just quickly want to tell you guys what I've been using um, during the week since I got that done and then of course I will get much closer than I am right now because I feel like this camera is like up in my face and show you guys the products that I've been um, using so far so this treatment really did make me experience a lot of dryness I did feel super dry um, throughout the week and I don't know if it's just the weather changing it's been getting more cold in LA um, and more dry so I think it's probably a combination of the two probably the weather but also to just the overall treatment I did feel really dry like a couple days after and just the entire week I felt super dry so I've been using things that are more hydrating I don't have super hydrating products just because of the fact that I'm more um, oily and acne prone skin so I try to stay away from things that are like really rich um, and super like oily because they just don't they don't help my skin situation out um, as far as like my breakouts and stuff go so um, I've been using an oil and I've just been using like a more gentle toner so let me just quickly get into what I've been using so for toner I've been using this one every single day it's just the calendula toner um, I did not tone like the first two or three days um, but then after that I have been toning this one doesn't have high amounts of alcohol so it's not stripping your face of any of its like oils which is really good um, so I've been toning and then I've been using the hydro plump now remember I used this the first day and it just did not work out the first day my skin definitely had like some sort of reaction um, and I think it just was not ready to receive any sort of skincare um, this may have had something that was a little bit too harsh for me to use like immediately after having you know almost open wounds um, so to speak on my skin so I used this two days later and I was completely fine I love this stuff you guys it's amazing super hydrating um, your skin just soaks it right up and I feel like it's made a difference as far as like the glow that I have in my face um, I definitely think it's because of this so highly highly recommend this product um, so I've been using this every single day since morning and night and then um, on the days where I wake up and I feel like I'm a little bit more dry than others um, I've been using this oil it is a face oil by Trish McAvoy um, it's really really nice um, I would say use any oil um, this one I think it's like an anti-aging oil but if you use like a rose oil or something like that it will help too oils are really good when you feel dry and I like that your skin just absorbs the oils really quickly um, so it doesn't feel greasy and this doesn't sit on your skin like your skin will just absorb this quickly so I've also been using this oil and of course the oil I do put it on before I put um, this on so I haven't been using this every single day but I've been using it pretty often um, and yeah so then I've been using my revitalizing um, this is the moisturizer that I use. I am actually almost out of this guy. I only have like a little bit left. I don't know if you could see the inside of that. But um, yeah, I I swear by this moisturizer. I love it. I just hate how expensive it is and it kills me to buy it. Um, I think this one was like $80, but I've had it for probably a year. Um, so I guess when you look at it in that way, it is worth it to get it. It has a balm formula. Um, like literally it feels like a bomb, which I've never felt a moisturizer like that. So it's really, really cool. You can use this daytime and nighttime. It does not have SPF, so wear SPF. Um, that's another thing. I do use SPF. I don't have it near me, I don't think, but, um, using SPF is crucial, especially after getting a treatment like this, because if you're not protecting your skin, then you're pretty much just defeating the purpose of why you're trying to fix it in the first place. Um, so use a sunscreen um, but other than that I really don't have much to say my skin feels great um, I am a little bit broken out again that's just normal for me every now and then I'll have a couple breakouts I really haven't been using um, any of like my acne um, treatments because since my skin's been dry I just 
I just haven't done it. And then also I didn't want to like irritate my skin more after doing that treatment. So I just kind of laid off of that. Um, but usually I'll just like spot treat and my breakouts will go away after a couple days. So I don't worry about it too much. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it you guys. I'm actually really happy with the results. I do believe I will go back and do another one of these treatments um, just to kind of see further results. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you can actually see like a major difference, but I'm gonna get up close right now so we can take a look together okay, So this is my left side This particular area right here. I noticed is like really smooth Again, like the outer edges are super smooth and then I have more texture here, but I feel like it's getting a lot better This is my right side my right side looks amazing Especially all right here like these just look like they're so so small right here. It's not so rough When I put on makeup too, everything looks super smooth and I don't even need to use a primer, which is really cool These have some pigmentation. I really want to get rid of those. I'm gonna have to talk to her about those We did do my chin area. I Thought this was a scar, but I guess it's just my chin like since my chin kind of has like a like a dip right here it's created that like scar or like a scar looking thing. It's just like a deep wrinkle. So I kind of want us to focus on this and pay attention because in a couple videos, I want to see if that softens. She did microneedle my chin. She did microneedle like my nose area here. And then she did microneedle my forehead which my forehead I don't have too many of those scars but I do have a couple like right here um, again it was my first treatment on my forehead so I guess we'll see in the future what that looks like so that is everything for this month's microneedling treatment I do plan to go back um, sometime in December I will go ahead and get another treatment then and I will do the same procedure I will leave the links down below for the procedure um, as well as her location so you guys can check it out if you'd like and that is it you guys I finally finally did this video I've been so long overdue I've been wanting to do this but I just haven't had time but I promise I will be going in December and I will go ahead and update you guys when I get around to doing that so thank you guys for supporting me and watching me if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below um, I love answering your guys' questions, so do not hesitate to ask me. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!